what will be the output of this program. In the main function, the variable i is declared as unsigned integer and is assigned to the value 1. In the for loop, the condition is given that i must be greater than or equal to 0 and the value of i is decremented. Since the initialization is given before the for loop itself, the initialization part of the for loop is not given. Then the value of i is printed for each iteration of the for loop. Now what will be the output? The initialized value of i is 1. So for iteration number 1, the condition when checked, i is greater than 0. That is 1 is greater than 0. So the value of i will be printed as number 1. Next, in the next iteration, the value of i will be decremented and now it will become 0. Still the condition is satisfied and the number will be printed. That is 0. In the next iteration, the value of i is decremented and now it will become minus 1. So the condition is not satisfied and hence the loop will exit here. Now let us check if our answer is correct. Here is the program. If we compile it, we will get 0 errors and 2 warnings. Let us check what it is. The warning is that the for loop condition is always true. But still, let us run the program and check what the output will be. This is an infinite loop because the variable i is declared as unsigned integer. So, whatever the value of i may be, the sign of the value will not be considered. So, after the second iteration, the value of i will be decremented and now it will become minus 1. But the value minus 1 will be considered as plus 1 and so the value will be printed. Likewise, all the values will be considered as positive and hence this loop will never reach a condition where i will be lesser than 0. So that is why we have got an infinite loop here. If suppose the variable i is declared as integer, then we will get a desired result. Let us check. Here we have declared the variable i as integer. And now if we compile this program, we have got zero errors and zero warnings. Let us run the program. The result is number 1 and number 0 as we computed here. So only if this variable i is declared as integer, we will get this output. Or else it will be an infinite loop. So this will be the output of this program.